I've been sitting here all day not knowing what to talk about in today's video until I've had to spend the last few hours trying to stop being shadow banned by Instagram. Now I'm not like throwing a hissy fit like a lot of people do, be like, oh my God, my engagement's down. It's like, yes, yeah, sometimes that happens. But they have, through their automated systems, determined that some of my photography images that I have put out violates their guidelines. Now, yes, if you take the most conservative viewpoint, yeah, it probably does, but they're very normal images. They're no more controversial than anything else that's on the platform. Yet all of a sudden they've flagged my account with no way to seemingly allow my account to reach new viewers anymore. And this highlights the whole thing of like owning the platform. When you are susceptible to these platforms, I've seen so many people go down to factors outside of their control. There's nothing that they can do. Their account is just wiped out one day and that's their entire business gone. And I've tried everything. I've tried going to their chat support. I pay for the verification and they are useless. I got a review. Half of the page in my account says the review has been made, but then it doesn't tell you what that review was. And the other half of the account says the posts are still in review, which doesn't make any sense at all. It's just flagged by the automated system, which is like fair, they have so many posts out there, but then you need to be able to get a human on it as fast as possible, because I can't have my account out of commission for weeks while I wait for one of your physical people to actually do a review and be like, these posts are fine. And then because I didn't want to wait, I was like, screw it. Okay, I will comply with these requests. I will remove those specific images that they have problems with. And guess what? Nothing happens. So it's like, do I keep posting on the page? But it's not going to be shown to anyone because they said explicitly now on my page, your posts won't be shown to the general public. I've heard from so many other creators around me the importance of starting things like newsletters or membership pages, which you own. You control how you connect with your audience. And now more than ever, it's becoming extremely apparent that I should probably put more focus onto that. If I can post a standard photography image and my Instagram pretty much gets wiped out in terms of how much they'll show it to the general public, what am I supposed to do? Whereas at least if you have your own platform, as long as you're not committing any crimes relative to the country that you're living in, you can do whatever you want. I can understand these platforms are often in a precarious position, having to balance their policies relative to you know, certain advocacy groups or legislation from around the world, but then they also need to have quick solutions to be able to have a human intermediator when things go wrong, as they inevitably do. But platforms like Meta and Facebook and Instagram have always been completely and utterly useless in that arena. They have always been impossible to get in contact with when things go wrong. At least platforms like YouTube genuinely try, and there are ways to easily get in contact with humans behind the platform, which I have done on a number of occasions. But now I'm kind of like in a state of like, do I even produce stuff at all? If it's just not gonna go anywhere, there's no point. Like, <sighs> that's why I'm here on YouTube. We have had a lot less problem producing stuff on YouTube than I have with platforms like TikTok and Instagram, where the account can just be stopped for no reason and there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, good luck, bitch, have fun. I've also been back and forth with the person I collab posted one of those posts with because in her industry, a lot of their stuff gets taken down. She experiences this thing all the time. And even though she experiences it all the time, she doesn't have a solution to get these things resolved. If it's not as simple as, here's the things we have issues with, great, you don't think that's an issue, we'll review it. Okay, either it's no longer an issue, we remove that thing from your account, or it is an issue, take it down, cool, take it down, solved. But that's not what it is. I do take it down, nothing happens. I try to get it resolved with human, nothing happens, or at least it's contradictory things on my account. Where if I had a newsletter or a membership page, I know that let's say there's a hundred people there. If I send out an email, if I send out a message, it's directly going to a hundred people. And maybe not all those hundred people open it, but they will see it. It is not susceptible to algorithms. It is not susceptible to policy changes and it is not susceptible to the greed of these organizations by hiring a useless support team. I had to deal a couple of days ago about the issue about owning your own content that you produce. And now it's about owning the whole platform as well. If you have had any success with owning your own platform, whether it be through once again, newsletters, membership sites or others, please let me know down in the comments about how that went for you, the benefits you've seen from it and uh, any recommendations that I should do moving forward, whether I should start one of the described.